All right. Welcome to the Cheonggong Palace. Beautiful spring day here in Seoul. Taking a photo shoot, get out of the way of that. of this place is. Look at the view from up here. It's my second time over here and I still can't get over this place. Such a mix of modern and I'd say medieval, but that's not quite the feel.
All right, so now we have the Chung Chungjung Hall. So this building is the Chungjung Hall, built in the premises of the palace. Coronation of the king and other official ceremonies were carried out here. Okay. So here we have the royal seat. Every inch of this place is decorated. From the floors to the rafters. Look at that, even the ceiling tiles. So much detail that went into this place. Walk around a little more. All right, on to the next palace ceremonial room. If you want me to slow down, go ahead and let me know, I'll slow down and let y'all look at stuff. Gorgeous day for this walk. Here we have, I'm going to butcher the shenanigans out of this. Xiong Zhong Jion. Xiong Zhong Jion. Sure. I'm, I'm guessing I'm pronouncing that something close to right. Uh, king worked at his convenience to discuss state affairs. Okay. So, the king's office. Let's go check out the king's office. So the king's office is definitely bigger than my office. All right, we'll go over here. You know, for an office, I don't see a desk. Don't see a whole lot of comfort here. King must have been a very dedicated workaholic. Oh, he's got a cushion. He's got a cushion. There we go. At, at a minimum, you need a cushion. But again, I mean, the detail that goes into this place Every ceiling tile is decorated, for crying out loud. I mean, imagine the upkeep for this place. It's ridiculous. Alright, on to the next one. Another building. Seems 
be way back there. Let's go see if we can find it. Oh, that might be it. Well, here's some cherry blossoms. Magpie friend. to my frames per second here. One second, sorry. 14, five, huh, what's going on here? There we go. Got some frames back. Sorry, that side apparently did not have very good signal. Here we go. 
and wander around and get lost in here. all pearl inlay. That's very, very fancy stuff. Very nice painting on the wall. Nice little vanity. An all pearl inlay. Very fancy stuff. It's a good thing I'm doing this while I'm young. Trying to come down these steps if I was older would be a death sentence. I mean, look how steep those things are. Okay, I was already on that side. Let's go back over this way. Wander around. Pretty grounds. Back to the main grounds. Thank you. 
Oh, the secret garden. One ticket, please. part of the palace that I have not seen before. seat here. Actually, no. We'll go find, find another quick seat. Such a pretty place, don't y'all think?
All right. So, so far I've been running around the, let's see, Chungduk Chung, Chung Chungduk Gong. I'm gonna have to read it to pronounce it. Chung Dyuk Gong Palace, there we go. Ring around there. Now we are in the Let's make sure I grab it again, make sure I can pronounce this. Uh, the Chang Yung Gong. So Chung Dyuk Gong and Chung Yung Gong palaces are connected. So I haven't been to the Chung Yung Gong Palace, which is just beneath me down there. Not the largest palace grounds in Korea, but still very pretty. I mean, really the one thing that I've been very, very impressed with all of the uh, temples and palace grounds in Korea so far is just the upkeep. So all of the, the gardening and the, the groundskeeping in general has just been absolutely phenomenal. Not to mention the, the uh, upkeep on all of the internal architecture. So all the paintings, all of the uh, tiles. I mean, as, as you saw in some of the other palaces, like even the ceiling tiles are painted. So the amount of upkeep to keep these places fully put together is, is absolutely astonishing. And I almost never see maintenance people. So I don't know whether or not they've hired a bunch of like sprites or freaking brownies to come over and, and clean and upkeep everything, but whoever they've hired, they <laughs> keep them on contract. But yeah, I'm going to stop the stream a little early so that I can take pictures and really just enjoy the rest of the day walking around but yeah thanks for hanging out welcome to seoul uh the next few weeks i'm going to be busy so unfortunately i can't come out and do this again uh not not until the end of may but may 30th through the second or may yeah may 30th no not may i'm in april huh April, sorry, April 30th through the 2nd of May, uh, I will be in one of the oldest parts of Korea, uh, Gyeongjong, where they have a lot more palaces and things to go see. So I'll be doing that next. Uh, bear in mind for those of my friends back in the States, when I say the 30th of April to the 2nd of May, that's one day to the left for y'all, so it's the 29th of uh, April to the 1st of May. But you'll, you'll see the indicator when I go live. Again, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. I'm going to go explore Seoul some more. So y'all take care. Peace.